everyone i'm going to talk about case report and case series today i'll first talk about case report case reports are the most basic type of descriptive studies of individuals and these are prepared by clinicians these are nothing but a very careful detailed report of a single patient here in this slide we can see a case report of a covid-19 patient who presented with acute pericarditis and this case report has been published in BMJ in British Medical Journal in August this month This is another example of a case report a 40 year old premenopausal woman she started using oral contraceptive pills and then after 5 weeks she developed a pulmonary embolism from this report the investigators hypothesized that maybe use of oral contraceptive was responsible for this development of pulmonary embolism but from this case report or from this observation it was only possible to generate this hypothesis it was not possible to test this hypothesis because we could not compare with individuals who did not start using oral contraceptives so from this case report we could not compare with others who didn't have oral contraceptive case series when we gather a few reports of cases having the same health condition it becomes a case series and it helps us to describe the characteristics of a number of patients with a given disease and we often be able to accumulate information on these groups of cases from our routine surveillance data and it helps us to understand whether there is any emergence of any new disease or epidemics this is a very good example of case series and this case series presents the clinical and virological data of the first few cases of covid-19 in europe and for this case series they gathered information from five patients admitted to two hospitals in france one in paris and the other one in bordeaux and they tried to describe the characteristics of those patients and the their virological features so this is a very good example of a case series and this has been published this year in lancet infectious diseases this is a historical case series paper published in 1981 in morbidity and mortality weekly report and in this case series they described a groups of patients five young men all active homosexuals who were treated for biopsy confirmed pneumocystis carinii pneumonia at three different hospitals in Los Angeles California and they gathered information on these three on, on these five patients and these five patients presented themselves during the period of October 1980 to May 1981 
and two of these five patients died all these five patients had laboratory confirmed previous or current cytomegalovirus infection and candidal mucosal infection and this actually presented something unusual it suggested something unusual because all these cases were among young homosexual men so was this raising any hypothesis and could they test this hypothesis from the data that was presented in this case series of five patients they actually needed a comparison group to test that to prove that being homosexual men resulted in those in that health condition and actually these were the very early cases of hiv aids so this was a historical case series and this presented a group of hiv aids patients in the early 1980s and it raised hypothesis that something else was happening but they could not prove what were the factors resulting in those health conditions but it generated hypothesis because they didn't have any comparison group but still it was very helpful in terms of saying that something else was happening at that time so what is missing in both case report and case series both case reports and case series they lack comparison groups as a result they can only generate hypothesis but they cannot test a hypothesis they cannot prove a hypothesis but still they are very good and they are the earliest forms of descriptive studies and they are very good in describing certain health conditions and also of course they are very good in postulating hypotheses thank you for watching